So you obviously want to learn more about TikTok. Well, you've come to the right place. If you're new here, my name is Stone. I'm a full-time TikTok creator and consultant. I've helped thousands of creators and brands grow, start, and monetize their TikTok accounts. But enough talking about me. Let's get you started and educated on what to do on TikTok and how to take advantage of the platform effectively. I place timestamps below for those of you who want to skip around, but be sure to watch to the end of the video because I'm not kidding when I say the last thing is the most important. But let's just get right into it. The first thing I would like to do is explain TikTok, the algorithm, how it works, going viral, and everything you need to know in order to take advantage of the platform effectively to do this full time like myself. So with every video that you post, it will go out to an initial group of people's for you pages and if that video is successful will be pushed out to more for you pages the main metric that tiktok uses to see if that video is successful or not is watch time shares saves comments and likes in that order but since the algorithm prioritizes watch time here are the watch time completion metrics that you need to have in order for your video to be deemed successful and push out to more for you pages now that you understand how the algorithm works, let's get into the biggest tips I can give you when starting out. The first thing I highly recommend you to do is to pick only one niche to create content around because every single time you post a video, TikTok is trying to find the best audience for that content. And if they don't know what content you're putting out, it's very hard for them to find that best audience. This could be things like fitness, health and wellness, finance, investing, maybe crypto, cooking, makeup, anything like that. Don't overthink it, just create content around whatever you like to do every day and ask yourself these three questions. What are my passions and what am I obsessed with? What am I most known for amongst the people that I know? And what can I consistently talk about every day without getting bored? Then I want you to write down your number one niche and why it's your number one niche. If you still can't come up with anything, I would recommend just creating content around whatever you do every day. Whatever it is, just video it and put it out there. If you think that this is not interesting or it's boring or not exciting, well, that's your judgment and your judgment is different from everyone else's. And I can guarantee you that there's at least a million people out there that want to see what you do every day. The second thing I highly recommend you to do is make content objectives and principles. Now you're going to hear me say this a lot. And if you watch my videos, you already know what I'm about to say. Don't think in terms of yourself and your business, but rather your audience and what value you want to provide them. Think about what you want them to gain from your videos. This could be education, inspiration, and or entertainment. Whatever they are, just write them down and try to be specific so you understand what you're trying to do on the platform and it's easier for other people to understand what you're trying to do. To give you examples, my content principles for my Coach Stone account are to inspire people to become creators, to show how to grow and make money, and to provide valuable TikTok tips. Also, here's a pro tip. Take the keywords of those principles and put them in your bio along with some emojis to lighten things up. Now, on to the third thing. I highly recommend you to research your niche and other creators in your niche. Find at least five creators that you like and that are creating content in your niche and ask yourself why you like their content, what are three video topics from their content, and what are three common video hooks that they use at the beginning of their video. Now, if you don't know what the hook is, it's the most important part of the video and it's the first one to three seconds of your video. After you've done this, follow and only follow 20 to 30 other creators in your niche and that you like their content and interact with their content by liking it and commenting on it so that the algorithm can read your interactions and know what content you like and where they should place your content. This will also give you more insight on your niche, what content's doing well, and what your audience wants. Now onto the fourth thing, you gotta determine your audience and think about this imaginary person that you're talking to in your videos. Think about their needs, wants, age, daily habits, and really what they're doing when they're watching your videos. Now I could get into a huge rabbit hole on why this is super important for you to do and learn, but to save time, let's just get into the next thing. And so number five, it's time to start creating content. But a couple points I would love to drill in before we get into structuring and video topics and ideas are right, to number one, don't care about what other people are going to think of you. Seriously, people could give two shits of what you do and what you post. You got to realize that people are just so focused on themselves and what other people are thinking of them. And when you post your first video, you're going to realize what I did in that no one actually cares. And two, be raw, authentic, genuine, and relatable with your content. Don't try to be this A-plus perfect expert, but rather just someone that's providing and offering valuable content in your niche and something that you really care about. Now three, lastly, just don't overthink your content, especially in the beginning. I strongly recommend you to focus on quantity rather than quality. And also always be trying new things to get more comfortable in front of the camera, but also to be more aware of what you like to create content around and what your audience likes. Now in terms of how to create content, what content you should be putting out and how to find content ideas, I would start here. First, always have a video objective and a point of the video. Second, your goal is to convey with your audience this objective in the most simplistic and easiest way possible, but also in the shortest way possible. And third, like I said earlier, always be trying new things, different sceneries, different forms and structures of your videos and different tonalities in your voice to see what clicks with your audience. Now in the beginning, I would probably recommend scripting your content like how I did, and I would do it like an intro body conclusion, which would be the intro would be the hook, 
the body would be the information and the value you're providing, and the conclusion would be the call to action. In terms of your information, note that people like lists, step-by-step -step tutorials, how-to videos, and also stories and experiences. And then for your call to action, I would recommend just directing people to follow you or to share it with someone they know. And then also, the video types that perform really well on TikTok are one, recurring series and parts of content, like part one, part two, etc. Two, just valuable content by educating people, inspiring people, and or entertaining people. Three, trending content and trending news, but I would advise when you're doing trends and involving trends into your content, I would have it only be about 25% of your content structure because trends are meant in to bring in those different audiences and more reach and exposure to your account, but they're very hard to monetize off of, build a following off of, and sometimes they're not very sustainable and reliable. Number four, just raw, authentic content that shows your viewpoints and opinions. Don't be afraid to put your opinion out there, and if you are, just know that in order to build a strong personal brand and business, you need to be polarizing and show your true self. And then number five, just unique content that's from you and your unique style. There's so many creators and influencers on TikTok that you need to differentiate yourself from. And one of the best ways to do that is just by being your unique, true self. Now, number six, the last and most important thing when it comes to becoming a successful full-time content creator on TikTok is that you need to be consistently posting every single day. Now, in terms of how many videos you should be posting a day, a lot of people are going to tell you do three to six or four to eight but I would recommend just doing an amount that'll still give you the ability to post the next day. Think about the next six months and what is the amount of videos that you can post every single day to withstand that time period. But what you can do is do what I did in the beginning and just post like three to four videos every day for the first month or two. And then after that, dial it back to one or two videos a day. But I want to drill it into your head that consistency and consistently posting every single day is the by far the most important thing when it comes to TikTok. Because if you're not consistently posting, you're not going to grow, you're not going to establish your audience, and you're not going to get more comfortable in front of the camera. But that about wraps it up for this video, guys. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button and like this video, but also comment any questions you have. I'll look at those. And please, please, please hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to get this information out to more people and so that you can get notified when I post these types of videos. Now, I'm new to YouTube. This is like one of my first videos, so bear with me for these next couple of weeks. But I hope you enjoyed this video. And other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good rest of your day, and bye.